David. Yes. What is this, David? This is a portable uh, harmonium. You know this song? Mm -mm. No, I don't. Uh, from a, a music factory, a C and C. Mm -hmm. Everybody dance now. With this is everybody dancing now. Oh, that's nice. Hey, y'all, Bill, the Hall of Fame collector here. And it is sad to report that since my last PC pickup video, we have lost three more Hall of Famers, uh, two in the baseball world and one in the basketball world. In the baseball world, we had lost um, Phil Necro. So, um, let me show off some Phil and Necro items here. This is a Greats of the Game and a 14 Five Star Rainbow, number 225. And um, this awesome item signed by Necro and Sutton. Um, but I think one of the coolest items I got of the Knuckleballer would be this uh, thing from 2012 to a collector, I'm assuming a TTMer. Um, Terry, I still have the baseball card and $10 check. You have sent me to sign the card. The reason I'm holding on to it is I'm trying to find out if the maker of the card, Panini, had the legal right to put it out to the public. As soon as I can get an answer, I will get it back to you. Blah, blah, blah. I've not cashed a check. Sincerely, Phil Necro. There's his home address. It's really cool. He was uh, questioning the legality of one of the Panini cards. Just a really cool item. Rest in peace, Phil Necro. All right, the basketball legend that we had lost. I only have one item. But Paul Westfall, uh, recently uh, a relatively new basketball hall of famer but uh rest in peace mr westfall and just recently uh we had lost a baseball legend mr tommy lasorda i think he was 93 years old uh this is a 01 greats of the game on card and uh that might fall and uh i got a really cool uh item here is a letter on Dodgers letterhead, 1981 World Champions. Dear coach, receive your letter. It was good hearing from you. I'm closing some pictures for you at your auction. Blah, blah, blah. I will be in Grand Rapids the week of December 13th. Blah, blah, blah. I'm hoping I can get to say hello to you. Good luck. And may God bless you. Best wishes, Tommy Lasorda. Really cool letter there. Rest in peace to that Hall of Fame legend. All right, guys, let me start out this video with a autograph of a legend. Um, this guy was, well, let me just put it in front of the screen here. Have you guys heard of the name Red Barber? This is a government postcard from 1955 of Red Barber. All right, let me put this down and let me explain who this character is. Born 1908, died in 1992. He was a uh, sportscaster for four decades with the Reds, the Dodgers, and the Yankees. Um, 1978 was the first year of the Ford Frick Award winner. He was inducted there, first year. Also, Sportscaster Hall of Fame. He actually, uh, the first uh, his first game was 1934. Uh, and 1939, he was... Uh, when the first Major League game was on TV, he was part of that telecast, uh, the uh, casting. So also, uh, just, I mean, have you heard back, 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 back? I mean, he, he coined that and O oh, Doctor, which was later used by other people, but that came from Mr. Red Barber. Awesome pickup. I also want to show off this uh, pickup here. It's not a Hall of Famer, but um, it's an MVP award winner. And um, so I wanted to show off 
this guy right here, Jose Abreu. Um, if there was a card to get of Jose Abreu autographed, it would be a five-star rainbow. And so when this five-star rainbow to 25 showed up for Jose Abreu, I figured, let me jump on the opportunity. Um, he may not be a Hall of Famer in the future, but if I'm going after Cy Youngs and MVPs and Rookie of the Years eventually, um, this would be the card I would want. All right, and on to Gregory Maddox. When I started Greg Maddox, there was one card that started it all. It was a big card. Um, it was a 96 Select Certified Mirror Red with a print run to 90. The very, very tough card, really beautiful. Showed it off in my top 100. I think it was in the top 50. And um, so <laughs> it's just strange how this sort of happened here. Uh, he had another base card in Select Certified and I happened to get the mirror red um, for that card. This card isn't as pretty looking as the other one, um, but this is the other card in the set. It is a mirror red. It's really nice in person. This does zero just justice. The card is super shiny. Um, again, a mirror red, and the print run is to 90. These are one in 100 packs, or one in 14,400, and again, these mirrors from 96 are highly sought after. Um, so happy to get that one. Just a coincidence that I started off my collection last year with a mirror red, and I start off this year with a mirror red. Spell red. Red, L-S-T-E-R. Hey, the judges are saying that's not exactly right. I'm gonna go to Gary. Spell red. R-E-D. That is one that right. Is wow. Spell red. <laughs> L A T E R. All right, that's wrong. D. Gary, you go. Spell red. R E D. That's correct. And now, speaking of the mirror red and the red barber, I have another card that is red here. It is an autograph from 2000 Skybox Autographics Greg Maddox on card. Look at that. I think this card's a pretty one. All right, running down some more Maddox pickups to start off the new year. This first one here is from 96. Pinnacle Starburst Parallel. I love how his face kind of lights up here. One in uh, seven packs or one in 700 for this one. And the other card in the set, Series 2, is the Hardball Heroes. This is the Starburst as well. One in seven packs, but twice as hard. Technically, one in 1,400 to get this card. Here is a 2001 Topps Gold Label, Class 3, one in 26 packs, one in 2,600, numbered in the back to 299. These are only one in 50 packs, but I just think they're cool. Let me show these off here. You got two of these Pinnacle Stand Up from Pinnacle Inside, 98. You can see there's a slit there, and there's a slit there on the bottom there. These cards kind of fit together, and uh, they make a standing thing showing different players. You can see the Maddox out. Yeah, the one here, and then the one all the way there, they would show one image. Pretty cool. All right, here's a 96 Select Certified uh, Interleague Preview Sample. So I don't, you can't really see it, but by Mo Vaughn's thing there, it says Sample. Uh, it's really cool. Um, the uh, regular ones have a print run of 1,234. This is a sample, probably less. Who does not love Fleer Ultra? 96 Rawhide. It's supposed to look like a glove, but it looks like an orange. Um, anyway, this is the gold medallion, which is 10 times harder than the standard ones. One in 80 packs or one in 800. There's another one that isn't that difficult. One in 360 packs. Uh, actually, one in 24, one in 360. But the card is absolutely insane. 2000 finest uh, ballpark bounties. And um, it's hard to see in the image here, but when you take this out of the holder and out of the sleeve, this baseball is like a mirror. It's really cool. You can see your face in it. It's just, it's just really cool. Um, took me by surprise. All right, I got a score, 1995. Here's a foil card. Score, Hall of Gold. These are one in six packs or one in 660. And the other one from the set is this cool card here, hologram type thing. Uh, this is the 
Dream Team Gold, one in 72 packs, or one in 864. Right, and last one I will show off for this video is this nice refractor. Not that refractory, but it is a refractor from 98 Tops Chrome. It's the Milestones refractor, one in 72 packs, one in 720. That's all, folks.